Okay, shalom, shalom. Kwame asa alo. Koholoyimla, ya wa basim ya wa shai. Bahashim, mikahakodas, do ba honors to our apostles. Elders of great millstone who rule well, that by the spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say thawada to all the Akim and Akwa. That's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to the best of their ability. This is Yachana Nawa. Just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the spirit. And um, this is an article basically on a woman paying for, uh, you know, her groceries, you know, with her palm. Because I don't think, um, you know, um, Whole Foods, they're not doing no chip readers or whatever, but. Who knows? I'm not sure about this lady. It's an older video, you know, from a TikTok video, but I wanted to more focus on the comments that are in here that are up to date, you know, because they've resurfaced the story, basically. But it says a um, woman pays for groceries at Whole Foods using chip implanted in her hand, sparking debate. It says creator's hand chip payment provides hope for easier and quicker payments in the future by many were left wondering if it could lead to a dystopian future. And, you know, I, I use self-checkout all the time. Self-checkout is no more than 30 more damn seconds of going into your wallet or whatever and pushing your card into the machine or tapping on the machine or whatever. So it's really this shit really don't make no sense when the way that they're trying to push it as far as like, you know, um, it's quicker. Well, it's so damn quick that I need to put something in my hand. I need to put something in my body. I need to, I can't take 30 more seconds out, 20 seconds out, 10 more seconds out to make a payment. I have to have this shit. I'm, I'm that fucking, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, impatient. <laughs> but you know, people are impatient as hell out here. They have um, pushed people to be a lot more impatient in this new generation, you know, um, because everything is fast food. They want shit within three minutes or two minutes or whatever the drive through time is at a restaurant now. Um, people are very impatient when you see them on the road. That's where you get road rage from. People don't, you know, uh, you know, or they just want shit instantly. There's no discipline. There's no wait. You know what I'm saying? They don't want no wait time. I want this shit now. And if I can't have it now, I'm going to lose my goddamn mind. And this is how they're going to really get a lot of people to kind of go for this shit when it really um, um plays out but anyway it says chip implants used for daily tasks like opening doors i can open a fucking door myself i can i can I, i'm not stupid i can i can i can you know keep a key i'm not like losing a damn key i'm not losing keys you know what i'm saying making payments might have sounded like science fiction a few years ago but today it has become reality tiktok creator burgundy walker Chip girl at Chip girl supposedly had a chip implanted in her palm back in 2020. According to her video, she initially used the implanted chip to replace keys to unlock her house door and wardrobe. Uh, okay, so like, explain to me how this is. You know what's so so different about this? You know, in the time period that you waving your fucking hand across, because from what I've seen. They got to, you know, they, they kind of got to wave their hand maybe once or twice or two times, three times, whatever, and, you know, for it to actually take. So within that amount of time, you might as well have to push the damn key in the door and turn the lock and walked on into the place. You know what I'm saying? Like it's stupid as hell. OK, it says um, in her latest video, she unveiled that she can make payments using the chip, making life even more convenient for her. The video appears to have been taken down from account, but was reshared on Twitter by Ben Swan which has now gained 154 likes and 56 reports. Okay, so this is a uh, chip girl. You know what? Let me see if I can run in, into this. I'm going to hit this little link if I can't. Let me see what they got going as far as this link. Okay, and maybe this is the TikTok video. They do have the other one where she's at Whole Foods, which I'm thinking Whole Foods, uh, I, I don't think that's a chip system. Whole Foods doesn't have a chip system as of yet. They have the palm reader. You know what I'm saying? Where you basically, you, you, you know, they take scans of your palms or your prints, handprints. You um, put a debit card or a credit card to the palm and it actually remembers by biometric data. You know what I'm saying? Your palm or your fingerprints, you know what I'm saying? Or your handprint. So your handprint is already connected to your debit card, which you already have in your wallet. 
Why would you allow somebody to have that type of information on you when you can just use the card? They already know who you are. I mean, you know, don't get me wrong. But why would you go through the lens of having something surgically put into you that you really don't know the future on? Well, we know the future on what's going to happen. <laughs> you know, but uh, I was trying to see. Um, it just took me to this. It's not um, a video. Chip girl here. Yes, the girl with an RFID chip in her hand that's used as a key to unlock things around our house. I really want to get another chip. And let me tell you why. So right now the chip in my hand can only do certain things, like be used as a key. But this one can do so much more. It holds more information. Like website. Like TikTok. So if you're out and about, someone asks for your contact. All they have to do is take their phone and put it up to your hand. It'll literally pull up the website. Chip guys tried to talk me out of it. Because it only works with new phones. But after last weekend, I just really, really want to get it. So he made me this. It's the same thing, but I don't have to get another implant. But the funny thing is, he has one. This does the exact same thing as this. But the chip is so much cooler. What do you guys think? Should Chip Girl get another chip? See? That's what I'm talking about. Like, that's how stupid that shit is. That's how stupid that shit is. And that card that she had in her hand, that's basically like, um, you know, generally like a lot of places that you work, like where at my plantation, we have cards like that where you beep it. You can't get in the building. You can't get out of the building. Well, you can get out of the building. So like you, you can't get in the building without it, you know, and they have this, you know, what they, they say, no piggybacking. So basically, if you hold your card on the door and somebody's coming up from behind and you're like, oh, well, let me hold the door for them. They still have to beep in or at least they want you to, you know, you can get in trouble or basically, you know, be, rep you know, reprimanded or lose your job if you don't allow them to key in, too, because they want to know exactly who's in that building. You see what I'm saying? They want to know exactly who's in the in the in the vicinity and location. They have the cameras, all this other stuff. We have a um a digital cafeteria where um basically you go into whatever the freezers or whatever. It's already that way, but it's not something that's within your hand. You know, but you can go into the refrigerator or go into they have a whole market. It's like a marketplace, you know, where you can get chips, snacks, anything from Cheerios, you can get Visine, you can get, you know what I'm saying? Uh, damn muffins you can get a salad you can get you know it's like a little mini store but you they have that fingerprint um hookup on the machine but it's cameras they can see you you know what i'm saying so it's like you can see your your actual face you know kind of like on shit you see what i'm saying so we already know where this is leading up to and 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 where i'm at in michigan here they just came up with a law um to stop companies from mandating a chip because they, they're already trying to do it in the state that I'm in, in certain, um, you know, factory settings. Um, depends on where you work at. You know what I'm saying? So this thing is real. This thing is moving, man. And it says, uh, we already, oh, okay, so th this is the video where she's in Whole Foods. So she does actually have a chip within her hand. But in, within Whole Foods, I don't think that they've um, taken it that far as of yet. And whole Because I actually noticed that in the, um, the comments that people was um, talking about that. Where uh, basically, you know, that's like the um, Amazon one, you know, um, these different places where you can go and walk right into the building and you can, you know, just shit, pick up what you want and walk out. They 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 see you. They, they weigh it out. They got the, the eye scanners. They got the data scanners. They got all these different things where it's already calculated. You know, that's such and such, such and such. We got this information and they walk out. They deduct that shit from their um, bank account and they keep on walking. And this is the type of convenience that they want people to um, claim to have. But you know what you notice is it's so cool. That's how they're going to do it. It's so cool. This is the coolest thing. And you see, and, and you know, and they're going to run that on Jake. See, Jake liked to have the, 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 the newest of technology. I got the newest iPhone. I got the newest car. I got these new rims. I can't believe you still dealing with you. You still... Man, y'all old, man. Damn, that's that's last year. Especially with the women. Niggas trying to impress. Y'all still spending cash? Nigga, I don't hold no cash no more. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas still holding bricks to your ear? Nah, man, that's that's outdated. You know what I'm saying? This is where it's at right here. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm you know, I'm, and, and if you notice, if you look back at that movie, Minority Report, with Tom Cruise, where he was walking... Every, everywhere that everybody was walking, it was taking eye scans and it was basically like advertising shit to you. You got to check that movie out. That's that's an old school one. But um, that minority report 
it's cold man cold blooded you know what i'm saying i probably can pull it up i don't want to get a copyright um infringement you know or anything like that but here you go with the let me get this video right here and and i'll grab a quick scripture but you know what in the comments though that that's what i really wanted to focus on the comments they're telling these people know that this is the mark the mark of the beauty and the beast that's most of the comments in here and most of these comments are really coming from edomites or it could be jakes you know what i'm saying that look like edomites but see you got iuic you got um wfi you got these camps these different camps um, that's not teaching that this thing is a real prophecy that's coming to pass. And if you get this shit, you're going to be destroyed. And that's what these and these camps are going to be destroyed for not explaining it to our people, man. They're actually dodging it. They're actually saying that, no, this is not what the what the scriptures is talking about. But let's play this one. She's saying it's the coolest thing ever. I bet you doofy as hell. As long as it took for her to do that, you know what I'm saying? She could have tapped her card. Tap and pay is just as quick with, with the card if you got the chip on your um, debit card or whatever. Just as quick. So what's the purpose of me allowing some shit to be put into me? That shit is dumb, man. But they're going to try and make it seem like it's something cool. It's the newest thing. It's the newest fad. And then Esau Edom, you know what I'm saying? He's going to phase out that money anyway and make it to the point where people are not going to have no choice but to depend upon this. So now that's where integrity comes in at, right? This is where it's going to come in at, okay, where you're going to have to make a decision. Am I going to go with this or am I going to go with the Lord, right? So now let's get the scriptures real quick, I don't, you know, and maybe I can grab that, um... How I wrote the Zod, we can grab, uh, if I can find that clip from um, Minority Report with Tom Cruise. Because, you know, Tom Cruise, he had to get new eyes. He had to get new eyeballs in that in that movie. They had him. <laughs> you had to see the movie, man. That, that was a cold movie, and it was well ahead of his time. I'm going to have to watch it back myself. I don't even be seeing it on, um, you know, any of the Roku channels and stuff like that. You know, generally you'll see, you know, classics pop up. I haven't seen that movie pop up on, on, on there, man. I, you know, and I'm sure... If you put it into the search engine, they're going to want you to pay for it, you know. But let's go into the, um, the scriptures real quick. New Testament, Revelation, where all this is, all the fun is happening. This is where it's all um, laid out at right here. Revelations 13, 16. And it reads, it says, and he calls if all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand. Or in their foreheads, right? And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. You you can't get around this, man. And I can't see these camps that are not teaching this, that saying that it's not what it is. They're either paid off, or the Lord has really super duper blinded them, which is even more scarier. So let's go to chapter fourteen, right? Let's see the penalty for if you take this. See, this lady right here, if she's an Israelite, because Israelites look like her. She looks like a so-called typical white woman. You know what I'm saying? But she could actually be an Israelite if her grandfather or her father, you know, her father, grandfather, great grandfather. Somebody goes back to being a so-called black, Hispanic, or Native American. It doesn't make no difference what she looks like. She could be an Israelite. But if she's an Israelite, her ass is through. You see what this is? Um, Revelations 14, 9. And it's actually entitled Doom for Worshipping the Beast. You see it right here? Doom <laughs> for Worshipping the Beast. It says, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. It doesn't sound good. That fire and brimstone, that lake of fire, that second death, man. That second death with them nuclear missiles. You know, and also, too, check this out. Revelation 16 and 2. It goes off into it, too, as well. You're going to be able to tell people that's got this shit. Because you never know when, when this lady, she might 
When them frequencies hit, ain't no telling what's going to be. Her ass going to bubble up and probably burst, man. Revelation 16 and 2. And the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth. And there fell a noisome and grievous sword. As a matter of fact, let me start at verse 1. Let's get a little more content. It says, six bowls of wrath, right? And I heard a great voice out of the temple saying to the seven angels, go your ways and pour out the vials, the wrath of Yahweh upon the earth. Remember, we just read that, you know what I'm saying, in verse 14 right there, that the wrath was going to be poured out of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth, and there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast and upon them which worshiped his image. And this word noisome, I seen it earlier in the Old Testament. A noisome, um, this will be in the Greek, but let's see here. It's kakos in the Greek. Let's see what they're saying here. It's not referencing back to the uh, Hebrew. It says of a bad nature, not set, not such as it ought to be. Of a mode of thinking, feeling, acting. This one right here is the one, uh, um, number three. Troublesome, injurious, pernicious, destructive, baneful. See that? Bad, evil, harm, ill, noisome, wicked. So it's going to be a sore, you know, and, and, you know, it could be boils. It could be a, uh, man, it could be cyst, huge ass. You, who knows, man? But it's not going to be a pretty look. I'll put it that way when it straight comes down to it. And if you take this shit, see, people going to be able to tell who done took it because you're going to be able to see shit growing on people. You're going to be able to see things, you know, you're going to be, you know. Ain't no mad look. <laughs> that pretty ass girl that you've always liked. Prettier than a motherfucker. And then all of a sudden, she's got this big ass lump of pus on her fucking head. A damn blister on the, on, the, on her damn cheek. Cheekbone the size of her damn forehead. Just out here, you know, just bubbling up. Just shit all over her. You know? You found her to be attractive. Or some guy you found to be, you know, I mean, man, look, that shit... It's going to have people out here looking crazy as hell. And that's going to be a part of the punishment. And then along with that, you're going to get that wrath. You're going to get that fire, man. You see? But anyway, I did say, uh, let's see here, though. Damn, it's locky. I ain't mean to come out of that. Let's go back into it. It's a lot. But that was pretty much it on the article, though. Let's go back into this history here. Let's see here. That was pretty much about it, but I did want to go into the comments, though. And there's a lot more comments though, um, be than before, so let's go. It says, um, this person, G Kathy Gustafson, I do not want that chip. It might be a sign of, of the end times that mentioned in the Bible, I'm God's child, and, the, and that's the way I want it. Hopefully, all Christians feel that way. And, you know, it, see, you have a lot of these Christians, they know what's up, but they don't truly know the gospel it's like they you know they have a zeal for Yahweh, but not according to knowledge you know according to the scriptures you know roughly paraphrasing they have a zeal but not according to knowledge they believe in white jesus they believe that uh, a so-called white man is coming and his name is jesus which his name is Yahweh shai you know the true name of the son is Yahweh shai there was no letter j in the in he, back then there wasn't no english back then they wasn't calling him jesus back then they was calling him by his hebrew name Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the savior or deliverer in Paleo Hebrew. And the true name of our father, which is sending Yahweh Shai, is Yahweh, which means that he's this, um, he exists or the existing one, Salakia. So, this is who you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you have to repent and first off get rid of that idol white Jesus. That's one of the main reasons why a lot of our people are going to get that second death. One of the main reasons why a lot of our people are going to probably fall for that, 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 um, that MOTB, that market of beauty and the beast, because they're believing in an idol. And if you're believing in an idol, when the time comes, there's a good chance that you're going to take that MOTB and you're going to take your children to take it. And they're going to get them noise, that noisome, um, um, injurious boil or that noisome, injurious, you know, um, hookup that, you know, we just read in, um, 
Revelation 16 and 2. See? But these people, they know. This person um, says, I agree with you. I don't want the chip either. Not going to get it either. Too close to the mark for me. See that? So people know. It says, what is wrong with, with people? Some folks better open a book called the Bible and see where we are headed following the mark of the beast. Time is running out faster than you think. These are the first three top, you know what I'm saying? The, the first three comments. So people know, they understand the time period that we're in, but, you know, to a certain extent, they don't understand, like, what's really, really happening. This person says, you are right. Some of us, some of us humans have um, lost ourselves and will go to any length to do anything just to turn heads. And that's pretty much, you know, like I said, they're going to make it seem cool and they're going to use Jake because Jake is the influencers of the earth. So-called blacks. You're going to mess around. For, you watch it. First people you're going to more likely see is some damn um, uh, uh, some somebody with a status of, you know, on an actor status, uh, um, NBA status or NFL status. One of these niggas talking about they got to think the thing thing and look at me. I'm, 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 I'm you know, I'm, I'm checking into hotels. I'm out here in, um, you know. Wherever you know, I'm partying. I'm in Dubai, and I'm using my 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 shit. Whatever they're gonna use some nigga to make it seem like it's cool, man. Okay, um, this person says if she does have a chip, she's taking the mark of the beast. See that? She'll see how cool that turns out for her. But see, you can clearly see that people understand it. That they understand what this shit is. This person says, I would rather face a firing squad than to be chipped or take the mark of the beast. My one and only savior in Jesus Christ. See that? Your ass going to take the chip anyway. Because all they got to do is um, starve you for two or three days. Your preacher going to tell you that in the name of Jesus, you're supposed to take it. You're supposed to listen to um, government. They're going to try and use certain scriptures. You know what I'm saying? They're going to try and go to Romans 13. You know, um, obey, you know, the, the, your, your government and all this other shit. You, you believing in, in white Jesus, your ass going to take that chip. You got two, two people that agree with that, with the amens, the amens, with the damn prayer emoji. See, people don't understand what's, what's popping, man. They know that this shit is, is, is something about it. They've heard about it. See, this person right here says it too. Mark of the beast. <laughs> here we go. Keep up, people. You people make me sick. Uh... This person says, stupid, too lazy to reach in your pocket or purse to get your money, your credit card. See, I, I said the same damn thing. This person says, talk, I'm talking about stupidity. This person says, Obama wanted everybody chip, remember? This person says, stupid bitch, now that you got the chip, you're always going to be monitored. The government will know exactly where you you're at at any time. You stupid for getting that that chip mark of the beast. Whoever else gets it is just as stupid. But see, it's gonna see Esau, and they got the scriptures right here. Somebody got the scriptures right here. This Anthony um, Crenshaw person got Revelation fourteen nine eleven. They got Revelation fifteen two, Revelation sixteen two, Revelation nineteen twenty and twenty and four. See. It says the mark acts as a seal for the followers of the Antichrist and the false prophet. The mark is literally placed in the hand or in the forehead. Now, how is it that these people, these regular people know this? And you got people that's out here reading the fucking Bible every day and on the highways and byways teaching every day. And they're going to tell you that it's not that. That's how you know these niggas paid off. You got regular citizens that's that, that, that know better, man. Uh, anyway, you you get what it is. Or mostly all these these hookups is 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 people claiming or saying that this is the MOTB, and that's what we've been saying all along. So, you know, I'm gonna end out. I'm not gonna keep the lesson long. I did want to go off into that um that Tom Cruise hookup where you know they was um you know because they already have the information on your eyeballs. You know they 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 see you when you're walking through these stores. If you've used any type of, um, it just in, in general, if you've ever been in a Walmart, they got your ass on data. They got data on you already. I don't care if you spend it in cash or whatever the hell, man. Because you're, you're, you're pulling into their parking lot. They're able to get your, your license plate number. 
They can zoom in on your damn VIN number, as small as that is, on your windshield of your car. So, you know, it's all just coming to a point of crash this shit and make people depend upon it. And, and you're going to see people squirm. Because you're going to have people out here, they're going to, hey, they're going to want to feed their babies. And these women, hey, they're going to take the babies to go and get that shit. It's going to be mainly these women that's going to that's gonna fall for that shit first. Some of them are going to resist. Some of them are going to hold back. But when it comes down to straight, the babies is hungry and they're crying. Or if they get hungry and they're crying, especially in America, all these fat ass people. Hey, look, man, it's going to be time to get down. Fuck that. Where do I sign up at? That's what they're going to be like. And when they do that, it's going to be a wrap, man. So with that, I pray that the le lesson was edifying. Quam y'all.